Hello everyone. It is now year two in Stardew Valley Expanded, which means I don't need these earmuffs anymore. It's spring. Uh, we need to find a new hat to wear though. So where did we leave off? We're here on Ginger Island. I forgot about that. I've changed a few things. I changed the iridium items back to forest color since, you know, green. The UI is green as well and my cursor is pink instead of purple. Just so I thought we could have like a little bit of a style change going into the new year. I did add one mod. Let me see if I can get it to work here. So it is called carry chests and I should be able to... There we go, carry chests. And then place them and they still have all of their items. I'm not going to use this for anything except redecorating. I'm not going to like carry an entire chest full of like important items so I can just have it wherever I want. No, it's a, it's a redecorating mod for me. So I guess we should probably get down to Pelican Town because I'm sure there's a couple of things that will be unlocked once we do. Like, uh, I mean, minimum, we're going to be meeting Kent. Yo, I think I needed the ribs? Guess we'll see. Gosh, I've seen so many fishing spots. Yeah, now that it's spring, there's going to be new fish too that I'm sure I could find in various places. Uh, I want to see if I can find Lance today as well, so I'm going to go look at that schedule once we get back to the farm. Oh yeah, here we go, already. Something new. So what do we have going on here? Gosh, it's so colorful again. Man. Hello, Sal. I was just checking this old garden space. Okay. Used to be the community garden before we relocated it near the library. With no one taking care of the field, it's seen better days. It's a shame this is the first thing travelers from Grampleton see when they visit Pelican Down. Huh. I know you have your hands full with experience farm, but if you were to fix up this plot of land, you could use it to grow whatever you like. I tried offering it to Andy, but he said he didn't want a handout from me. What do you say, Sal? I mean, yeah. Sure. I don't know how much, like I could make it just look pretty. You can get right to work on the field. I'll move these barrels and boxes out of the way soon. Huh. Well, I have a pile of paperwork. Have a nice day, Sal. Yeah, I mean, I don't see myself coming here a lot to do anything with that space. Oh, here's Kent, geez, before even introducing him to us since we uh, spawned on Ginger Island. I'm sure if we go back to our house, it'll redo that cutscene. Yep, here we go. Hello there, my name's Kent. Just got back last night from overseas. My wife told me that a new farmer had moved in while I was gone. Well, just wanted to introduce myself, see you around. Sweet. Anything else? No, nothing for now. Well, <laughs> I mean, one big obvious thing, we do need to reset up our farmland. That is for darn sure. The price of material, oh thanks, that's good things that I wanted to hear. Let's clear it out and then I'll go buy some seeds. Well geez, that sure took some time. Uh, so what, what crop am I going to put in there? I think I'm just gonna go with plain old melons, right? Because we can't have strawberries, so cringe, but... Oh, oh, Sandy in the Valley? What do we got going on here? Hello. What's poppin'? Sal, hello. Hi, Sal. We were just about to go knock on your door. Sandy surprised me with a visit today. She wanted to see you, too. Oh, okay. No, you like surprises, Emily. I guess we are like the only other person in the valley that sees her. So fair enough. Oh, um, so... I thought I could maybe see your farm, Sal. I got a glimpse of it on the bus stop. From the bus stop. I haven't visited it yet. Oh, the farm is incredible, Sandy. Sure, let's go to the farm. Let's check it out. 
Yay, I'm so excited! Hooray, Sal. Let's go to your farm. Oh wow, I like that we're actually in a good spot. I was so expecting it to be like glitched and us just be in a weird location. Your farm is impressive. It's a lot bigger than I imagined. Isn't it beautiful, Sandy? This farm used to be nothing but trees, rocks, and weeds. Sal completely turned it all around. Yeah, I did do that. Oh my god, there's a rock blocking the coop. All on your own? That must have been a lot of work. Yeah, well... <laughs> it's easier when you make a whole series out of it. Let's go to the beach. I haven't seen the ocean in forever. That's a great idea. Sal, would you like to come with us? No, oh, thought I was gonna get another, like, dialogue line for it. Thanks for joining us. Yay, next stop. Oh gosh, I love visible fish. Makes everything prettier. Love the sound of the ocean. The waves are so soothing. Being in the desert so long, I forget how beautiful the ocean is. Hmm, sometimes I take this valley for granted. There's so many amazing places here. Is there anywhere that has a better view of the ocean? Hmm, yes, there's a huge cliff at Blue Moon Vineyard. You can see miles and miles of the sea up there. Oh, let's go then. Next stop. Oh, this is a whole... A whole tour of the valley, isn't it? Yeah, there's this spot. I don't think we've gotten a view of this, like, seeing how exactly this looks before. Never been up here before. This view is amazing, Emily. Really is. The gem sea looks so beautiful up here. Wish I brought a camera. I would have taken a picture. Next time I visit, I'll be sure to bring one. Um... I know it's a bit far, but can we go to the summit? Oh, huh. That's a big hike up the mountain. If you're up for it, we can go. I know what I should say. All right. I wonder, I bet that plays out differently if you haven't blown out the boulder. Interesting. Because I... The I know what I should say sounds like, oh, but there's a boulder in the way if you haven't done that yet. Oh yeah, there's probably going to be new forgeables up here too. I got to make sure I check that. The view is breathtaking. You can see the entire valley from up here. It really is. You can see Pelican Town, Cindersap Forest. You can even see where we were just at. Uh, Blue Moon Vineyard. You don't get views like this at Castle Village. I need to visit the valley more often. I would love that, Sandy. You're happy to hear you would you'd like that too, Sal. Yeah, uh, just flew right into us. Oh, look at the time. I got a lot. It got a lot later than I thought. I have a night shift at the Oasis tonight. Oh, that's a shame. We were having so much fun, too. I'll visit again soon, Emily. Do you mind leading the way, Sal? Can do. Thanks. Let's make our way to the bus stop. You did visit the valley again soon. This was fun. Sal, you need to visit me sometime in Castle Village. I'll show you around. There's some unique locations there, too. Although I prefer the ocean here. Well, maybe in the next update. Bye, Sandy. Have a safe trip. Hmm. Heading off now. Ciao. What, what, was, what was that about? Okay. Lebanese? Okay, good lord. That was a whole detour and a half. Uh, what are we doing? 
I honestly forgot. We're getting seeds. Jeez, that was so long. I forgot what I was doing. All right, Pierre. So, onion seeds. Am I insane or is that new? I feel like that's new. And it's only four days, so it can't be that useful. I'm going to grab one jazz seed for our uh, honey. But uh, everything else... I said melons earlier. I meant cauliflower. I think I'm going to go with cauliflowers just so I don't have to replant them a lot. Sounds good to me. Uh, maybe want to get 100 just in case. Uh, not even close. Well, let's get this set up too. Uh, I'm going to need... Jeez, it's crazy how much it overgrows just in that one little time. I'm going to need one small sprinkler, but I believe right here is the mid... Wait, what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's not even. Right here? Should be the midpoint for the blue jazz. Um, should have a sprinkler somewhere. Oh yeah, here's one. There. Wait, wait, wait. There's a sprinkler right here hidden by the honey. Here we go, caught him just in time. Give me more of those sunflower seeds. I'll just double it up by a hundred more. All right, and now, believe it or not, we have to water it. Is that, okay, that's the steel watering can. That's not too bad, at least. Gosh, you know what? Maybe that tractor mod wouldn't be too bad adding it in this late. I don't know. Still very overpowered, but you know it is. I'm going to put this hyper speed grow on the blue jazz just so it starts uh, helping all of this honey easier. But like, I'm starting to see the benefit of honey with how easy it is to set up compared to like an actual field. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to lean into it so heavily. So one other thing that I want to do is I want to continue to clear out our space here. But just to give you an idea for the plans for spring, um, this area is going to become our second crop field. And I only want to set it up once we have uh, once we have iridium sprinklers, which I can't get a lot of until I start getting more batteries. So we're kind of waiting for thunderstorms here. Uh, I want to set up these water shifters. You string them with fiber. So I guess we'll see what those produce tomorrow. I think it's might, it might be guaranteed trash. I'm not quite sure. You still need three coral. Make sure that this is cleared out so that they can actually get outside. And I think we're good for the most part. Uh, just in case we ever get a storm. I do want to see if I can make a couple more lightning rods because I'm gonna want a lot of iridium sprinklers. And that should all fit there. Yeah, got a little uh, lightning rod farm there. And to finish off the night, I'll harvest from the greenhouse and we should be good. There's some more salal berries. Oh, and more. Oh, ancient fibers already. Oh, good lord. I've noticed that these aren't reharvestable, which is definitely a downside if I want to use them on Ginger Island. So I'm thinking Salal Berries might be the way to go for that. All right, I think we got to call it there. That was quite the stuffed day. Very busy. Yeah, that Ancient Fiber kind of goes hard, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Won't lie. A slime escaped another one. So someone mentioned last time that happened, I think we lost an Iridium Slime, which is not great. Now selling higher quality fertilizer. Got Tomka soup from Sandy. Oh, that must've been one of her heart events then. I didn't even realize it. I thought it was just like a, oh boy, second year cutscene that always happens, but maybe not. Perhaps it was actually something special. I keep not using my auto gate. Gosh, look at how the farm looks in this. Oh, God. They started uh, reproducing, didn't they? Well, you know what? If they reproduce a lot in there, we can just kill them all for a ton of profit, probably. They're not really the ones I was concerned with, but that just kind of happened. Ooh, secret note. Oh, it's just a picture of Marnie. To my knowledge, that's like the only one that's just like kind of there for no reason. There's not really anything you do with that. 
Jeez, there's so much to get rid of. I feel like it overgrew a lot more than usual. Um, God, yeah, look, they're just going to town in there. Definitely going to have to add a second gate there at some point if they're going to go crazy like that, but not a problem. Yeah, one of our uh, purple slimes definitely escaped there. If I want to get them breeding, then I'm going to have to, I don't know, figure out some solution to that. I kind of want to set up another fish pond tomorrow or today. That'd be a one nice goal. What's our actual like slime hutch looking like? That's right, we had one slime that just spawned outside of the gate for no good reason. Here, let me like move this. Normally it's not movable, but thanks to a mod, it is. Get in here. Yeah. Nope. Come on in. There you go. Okay. Determined to get out. There you go. Now he's trapped, so we can start setting up our slime hutch at some point. I'm gonna need some slime eggs, though. There is the keg shed that I need to set up eventually. Uh, how many kegs can we make right now, actually? I'm curious. Just 10? And that's because of a lack of wood. All right. Well, we can go wooden today. Uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. If that's going to be a thunderstorm, then I'm going to want to craft a rain totem. And we need truffle oil, pine tar, and hardwood. I can do that, actually. That shouldn't be too hard. Because if we can make it rain two days in a row, thunderstorm two days in a row, that's going to give us a lot of batteries to work with. Just curious, do I even have an oil maker yet? I don't think I do. Huh. Well, let's make an oil maker. I'll just place it here. doesn't really matter. And we'll start shoving some truffle oil into it. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of stuff from uh, our tree farm over here. I'm glad to see that. That's actually been pretty useful. Don't have to worry about it at all. Now I am going to make a trip to the hat mouse because I do want to find a new hat to wear. Oh, here's the items that the sifters got. Looks like mining items for the most part. Looks like it could be items that you can pan up maybe. Is what it pulls from. Oh, hello. What's up, Andy? What's poppin'? It's been a while since we've had an Andy moment. You caught me in the midst of foraging. Lots of good stuff today. Rain helps him pop up. I believe you. I enjoy looking for forage in the forest. If I could, I'd make this my full-time job. Not much money in foraging, though. I'd be better, no better off than that Linus fella. I, for one, enjoy sleeping in a heated house with a fridge. Okay. <laughs> a, l a little bit of shade to throw there, but all right. Say, you busy? I have some things to talk to you about. I suppose not. Oh, just stand at a cliff. I trust you like this, apparently. Things are tough when you're all on your own, farmer. I don't have many people I'd call close friends in my life. You know, I tried talking Mayor Lewis into letting the other farmers and I take over your grandpa's farm. It was good land being left to spoil. But there was nothing Lewis could do about it. Your grandpa still owned the deed to that there land. You showed up out of nowhere and took it over. Been doing a yoba darn good job, too. Pardon my language. What I'm trying to say is... I'm proud of you. Father... I won't lie, I used to be jealous of you. You only started farm work recently, relatively speaking. I've been doing this all my life and I haven't amounted to much. At first I thought you'd move out of the valley because you couldn't handle the farm work. City kid, going from that office job to farming is a radical change in lifestyle. But you didn't, you kept at it, kept improving and showing me I was wrong. I can tell you're as passionate about farming as best you can. You've brought more commerce to the valley with the publicity of Experience Farm. All the farmers are selling more as a result. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I suppose what I'm really trying to say here is... Thank you. <laughs> that looked like physical pain on his face. Thank you for inspiring me to be a better person and giving Fairhaven Farm more business. It's helped my life more than you know. Oh, okay, dang. All right. Good view from here. 
Gotta say, this right here is the Ferngillian dream, living in Stardew Valley. Thanks for being a good friend and showing me compassion, Farmer. I mean, hey, walkable town, whose dream is it not? Everyone wants that, except for, like, three people who own the cities. What's up, man? Hey, Sal. Last time I saw you here, it wasn't, uh, wasn't very poggers. What am I doing? Whoops, that was an Andy accent. Cleaning up my mess. Guess it's because I feel bad about it. I've chucked a lot of bottles off this cliff. Too many to count. That's okay, there's a trash bear for that. Ugh, nothing I can do about the ones down there. Well, need to finish cleaning up this mess. See you later, Sal. Oh, that's a nice short little cutscene. Not that we're even there. Um, I was going down to the bottom of uh, Cindersat Forest. Also, I can't help but notice that my horse is now gone. I was using it to traverse, and now I can't. Bro just gave me an ancient seed. Huh, I'm assuming that was... So I just realized he's at 10 hearts. That must have been his 10 heart cutscene. Where are we sitting for relationships? I didn't know we were at 10 hearts with him. Interesting. Oh gosh, we are... We're getting there. I mean, there's a lot of zeros right now because there's a lot of people we just got introduced to, but... Hey, we're getting there. So, Hat Mouse. What choices have we got now? Can't steal the Lucky Bow. That's Chloe's. Got the cat ears, oh my god. I did have the daisy before. Trucker hat if we really wanted to go crazy. Watermelon band always slaps. Sailor's hat, I could just pull off a shiny do. Let's do a couple of, a little bit of time in the watermelon band. I know I wore it during my first playthrough, but that was, what, two years ago at this point? Perhaps three if we stretch it. I think it was three when it started. I mean, we're down here. I was told to go check out the Aurora Vineyard, and it's been a while since we've really explored this area, so I guess we'll go check it out. No reason not to. So here we are. Um, still not much going on here. Can't read the sign. I thought I could. Man, it is windy outside. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Anything going on? There's a soggy newspaper. Always a big get. Always important. Uh, maybe we'll come back here later. Maybe it's just something I'm supposed to keep an eye on from now on. That looked like a new fruit or something right there for a second. Alright. Well, I'll come back here occasionally just to check it out. Okay, there's my horse. Found it. Sweet. Um, I really want to go see Lance today, so let's, uh, let's get that out of the way. Let's see. He is... Currently... In Stardew Valley, so I'm guessing that means he's at the Adventures Guild, so let's go pay a visit. Lance, my man! You're a fan of the Triple Shot Espresso, so... It's only a liked, but we do what I can. On an outpost far up north in the Highlands. Perhaps one day you'll join me there. Perhaps. Oh man, I'm too late for Robin. Just barely too late. That's unfortunate. Well... What to do with the rest of the day? We could turn it into a bit of a gift-giving day, just kind of dole out whatever we have left at the moment. Uh, Demetrius, you're very close to 10 hearts. That's not going to take too long. Also, it's Tuesday, so she's not open anyway. But I can catch her at 8 p.m. when she walks by her register. So I think I'm going to try for that. Guess we'll get started on Kent. Since we do have two days until his birthday, we can give him three gifts this week just to get a head start. Oh, we should check our special order. We got Pam's, which unlocks Fibs, and Prismatic Jelly again. I believe that's for Monster Musk. I mean, I can't not take that. And you know what? Let's go ahead and go and try to accomplish that right at this moment. All right. Prismatic Jelly Hunt. Let's get to it. Oh, got another secret note. It's a page from Jas M. Jasper's book. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you are a rock crab, and I need to kill y'all for your thing. Oh, okay, two crabs. 
I figure this is also a pretty good time to work on the slime slayer goal. Because the slime ring would not hurt. Really, I found a special slime before finding the prismatic slime. All right. I hope this area is infested. That's a pretty good chance. Maybe not. Well, 11 p.m. I'm going to call it there. I think we had pretty much no luck. But you know what? I did collect enough slimes to where I can make another slime egg. And then we can put that into the slime hutch. And hopefully they'll start reproducing from there on because I really do like enjoy the slime much hold on I have slime somewhere here get slimed no get slimed so that'll be ready tomorrow just put all of our stuff here uh, I have a lot of things that just don't need to be in my inventory right now uh let's make some rain totems so tomorrow we can pop it and we'll be bopping all right call the day there Oh, here we go. That's right. Completely forgot that this was going to happen, too. So what should we be able to do with that right now? I think I have some extra prismatic... Oh! Oh, level 5 in binning! Cheaper cost to craft recycling machines? Never get caught dig... Oh, easily. Easily sneak. Alrighty, another day. Another sleigh, as the kids say. Oh, it's going to be raining on the island tomorrow. Well, guess where else it's going to rain? Oh, this isn't a thunderstorm. Dang it. Because I know thunderstorms can happen in spring on year two. At least I'm fairly certain that's the case. Anyway, rainy day. That means everyone will be easy to find. Gosh, we still need to find that prismatic slime. All right. Well, I definitely want to get that fish pond built today. Oh, we can clear this off, get ourselves some uh, good amount of hardwood. That'll be nice. I think I'd like to start setting up some type of farm on Ginger Island. I'm going to use whatever batteries I have to make some iridium, some iridium sprinklers. Because I want starfruit for the Junimo huts. You do need starfruit for Junimo huts, so that'll be very useful to have early. Sweet. I don't really care too much for growing any trees that aren't going to have tree fertilizer on them, so I'm going to go ahead and clear those out leaves three left and we got 91 hardwood out of it which you can't shake a stick at that's for sure i also love getting the hardwood out of the dogfish pond that's a very useful pond just for the hardwood itself we could bring a strawberry to max out demetrius today that won't be a problem we have 18 iridium bars just two batteries so that's gonna make is that two iridium sprinklers or one Okay, we get two iridium sprinklers out of that. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Order of operations here. Let's head to Robin's. Nope, oh, Sophia cutscene. Okay, oh no. Oh goodness me. Oh, now it's a thunderstorm when you need it for the cutscene, but when it's for gameplay... Oh, hello there. What's going on? Hi. Oh no, smiling but crying, that's so sad. Oh, just letting her pass by. Okay. Well dang. Maybe I should check on Yeah, we'll go we'll go check on her after we get our uh, fish pond started. Gosh, I can't just leave that. Oh, and we, and we got a train. Gosh. Just make my day more packed, will ya? All right, Robin. Uh, what was I doing? Construct farm building. I want another greenhouse. Two hundred thousand. We're still like not quite there for that yet. Big shed would be nice, but I want yet another fish. Wait, don't I have green algae? No way. What happened to my green algae? Oh my god. Well, you know what? Let's not have this specific trip be useless. Let's uh. Max out Demetrius. Yeah, there we go. Another guy maxed. Oh, let's grab a prismatic shard. We need to check that out. Don't think we have anything else for the missing bundle quite yet. All right, I have returned with the proper items. You get built. And we will complete our square, which I'm very happy about. That's gonna look so much cleaner. I'll take another three days, but uh, 
cool. That's done with. Let's check out the missing bundle. Because if I'm honest, I don't 100% remember what's in there. I suppose it's also possible that they uh, changed what items are required, but I <laughs> heavily doubt that. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm prismatic sharded up. Void salmon, caviar. I forgot about the caviar. Dino mayonnaise I can get pretty easily. Guess I have to save up my gold ancient fruit. And I need, I don't even have my second house upgrade for the wine. Guess I better get on that too. Okay. We'll make some progress on it. Don't worry. The void salmon actually rem reminds me that we have a lot of things that we need to fish up. So I could get the iridium axe right now. And I kind of think that's what I want to do. If I need wood in the near future, there's no reason I wouldn't do that. And now, 11 a.m., let's go check on Sophia. Alrighty. Let's do it. I'm in dad mode. Maximum dadding. Yeah, I'll just eavesdrops. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna knock. Come on now. Kind of weird that we are already in the house without, you know, notice, but who's there? Is she a boy? Oh, Sal? Um. Um. Now isn't a good time. Please leave. Okay. All right. When she's ready. Wait. Why are you here? You were worried about me? Um... Look, you don't need to worry. This is just, um... This is just something I live with. Used to be worse before I started taking medication. Um, I'm sorry you had to see me like this. Um, I understand this is difficult. I'll get, I'm here for you. You, you don't, you don't just get over it. Not good dialogue line. Thanks. Um, something that helps us spending time with people. Do you watch anime? We could watch Pink Princess Crusaders. Yeah, okay. Hell yeah. Side note, I've been watching One Piece. I'm like 45 episodes in. I'm enjoying it. Pretty good. Get settled on the couch. I'm going to grab my special stuffed bear. Oh, hell yes. Um, I'm kind of playing it because I really want to play Pirate Warriors because I love the Warriors spinoff games. And I've heard that's a really good one. <laughs> and I'm like kind of watching the entire anime just for that. Anyways, uh, what up? How many hearts? Eight? Oh, I'm maxed out. Did you like watching Pink Princess Crusaders? Yeah, it was pretty good. I know, right? Such a silly show, but it makes me happy. They're working on a second season. Nice. I wonder what that's supposed to be like. I'm sure it's a reference to something. I couldn't tell you what it is. But I'm sure it's out there. All right. Next order of business. I need to... I need to pay a visit to Kent real quickly so I can give him a second gift before his birthday. And he will be right here. Hopefully. Unless he's out in the rain. Oh, we got the band one. Okay. Is this the one where we choose what uh, song they play? Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out what song's playing here. <laughs> I don't really know. Yeah, wow, it sounds so good. Oh my gosh. Sebastian and I were just having a little jam session. Maybe I'll just put in Weezer. We're trying to start a band, but we don't know what kind of music to make. There's too many possibilities. It is. Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember which ones I like. Which one's the best song? What kind of music do you like? I mean, personally for me, it would probably be 
out of these, it would have to be Cheerful Pop. Um, let's do some high energy dance music, I think I'll choose. You know what? That's exactly the kind of style I've been thinking about for the band. What do you say, Sebastian? Should we do this? Okay. <laughs> he cares so much. Thanks for the help, Sal. With my guitar skills and Sebastian's wizardry on the synthesizer, we're going to be a screaming success. I can't wait to see it. I just need to find someone to play drums. Anyway, oh my gosh, the whole family's here. That's cute. Get blackberried. Um, Sam? Nope, that's me. Sam like anything I got? Not really. You're already maxed. You need some help. You like daffodils, huh? You're a daffodiller? A daffodiliac? <laughs> As we used to call it in Vietnam. Uh, let's go. Um, maxed out with you. I just don't recall if I'm maxed out with these people. Haley still needs some. Well, guess what? I have this daffodil just for that. Yeah, hitting up most people's birthdays for the second time should finish almost everyone up. So now we're going to head to the desert because I need to get starfruit. Man, having a triple shot espresso makes everything feel like it's going at lightning speed. Uh, anyway, hello. I need starfruit seeds. I guess I'll take as much as I can carry. Just absolutely no money. And now that I've done that, I realize that I actually need money so that I can buy the mermaid's pendant. Oops. Do I have anything that you would like right now? Oh yeah. It's for me, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Willie, my man, I just realized I don't have the money to do this. Also, before I forget, Uh, let's go out and find some stuff to just sell real quick. That shouldn't be too, too bad. Well, that was a waste. Well, Willie, did I pick up a thousand gold worth of items? No. All right, I'll be back again. All right, I brought all the iridium fish that I don't need for anything else. And that'll do it. Jeez. That was quite the journey to get everything I needed to get this started. Well, man, you know what? I was just thinking the horse flute would go crazy right now. The horse is really like, it speeds you up quite a bit. All right. So we've got to get this properly set up, huh? Terror roots still have a couple of days. Well, I, I don't have an ax. I love the fact that I think things through so well. So let's uh, kind of set this up however it will be set up in the end. And we'll just fill the spaces we can for now, I suppose. Jeez. And that is all she wrote. Let's fill her up with starfruit seeds. Jeez, the soil is so dark it almost already looks <laughs> watered, but we do have to do that as well. Well, that's a start, isn't it? Well, that was kind of like my main plan for the day. I think I'm going to spend the rest of my time here just clearing off whatever trash is left, other than the wood, of course. And that ought to make it a day. All right, it is all cleared off other than sticks. So, gosh, what do we do now? I'd, I'd really, it's, this, this is always the weird amount of time, because it's not enough time to like, go and do something, but it's enough time to just wander around. Hey, here's the three coral I need for that one fish pond, so I'll go back and use that then. Uh, we should be able to do this quest now because Kent's here, so we'll go ahead and start it. Oh, a visitor. Come closer, child. Haven't had a visitor in many moons. I almost forgot what other people looked like. Well, I suppose now that you're here, I may as well ask you for a favor. Have you seen that wrecked ship on the southern south shore? My husband was the captain. A pirate he was. He set sail one day, never to return. It took me three years to sail sailing the high seas 
to find his remains. Ah, I've been here ever since, dear. Guarding his bones. A little spooky, but alright. My child, if only I could if I could only find a keepsake of his, it would bring me such peace. I wonder if anyone's ever made an expansion to uh Birdie here. It's an old photograph that washed up on shore. That's all I have to offer, but somehow I think it'll help you find what I seek. Cool. War memento. And thus, we can start that quest now. That'll be five juicy golden walnuts. What are we at right now? 13, so we'd need three on top of that, or two on top of that to unlock the east side, and then we can actually get moving. We'll call that a day. A little early, but hey, nothing wrong with turning in early for the night. Oh, it's market day. You know what? We can absolutely do that, although I don't know if people are actually going to go that's one worry i have uh before we leave first of all it is kent's birthday but it is raining today so i don't know if like people are going to be there it's going to rain on the island tomorrow oh yeah don't we need to find the last uh gem bird for that puzzle hold on let me check to see which one i uh which one i need shot espresso to speed things up I need the one for south, so that that should just be there. But before we do that, I'm gonna give this feather to Leo. Here you go, buddy. Buddy boy. Oh, there's a spring outfit. Cute. Love it. Have you met others like you? I don't talk to them much. I feel safer with my own kind. Yeah, all right, buddy. Anything I've missed? Yeah, Fire Mountain. Uh, there's no gem bird here. So that sucks. Maybe I'll just have to, I'll just have to guess. I was pretty sure that it always spawns in wherever you, you didn't have the gem for yet. Maybe I was wrong about that. Anyway, we're gonna make our way to Kent. Give him the war memento. Oh gosh, this is a lot more setups than it was before. Interesting. Yeah, again, I don't know if people are gonna come out on a rainy day, so I'm not sure if it's 100% uh, worth it. Guess we'll see. Oh, there's Kent. Already leaving. Hello. Have a war memento. Where'd you find this? This man we fought together in the war, Sal. He was like a brother to me. But only one of us made it back. Never lost his courage, though, even in the face of death. A true hero. I'll never forget him. Thanks for bringing me this. It means a lot to me. Here, take this. And we got the tomato salt, which we can't turn in for a little bit. But, uh... What items? It is his birthday, so I do want to go crazy. I uh, guess we'll give him... We'll give him one of the universal loved items. It said I had a rabbit's foot somewhere, so we'll go and see if we can find that. Alright, three different quality corals for the clownfish. You're still working on that. My Iridium Axe will be ready tomorrow. Things are looking good. Uh, let's see if we can find that Rabbits. Oh, and you know what? It must be in the coop. Sure is. And we have the dinosaur mayonnaise. I'm going to sell all this mayonnaise at Pierre's. Hold on. Let me. I should pet my animals so that they can drop more rabbit's feet. Oh, looks like they actually do come out for market day. Well, you know what? Have some mayonnaise. Yeah, mayonnaise, baby. Also, Kent. Really wanted to make sure I gave it to the right person there. I'm afraid to leave because I don't want to ruin it. You know what? Here's some duck mayonnaise for you. Looks like everyone's already starting to head out. Well, I'll let them buy whatever they want if they really want it. Hello there. Buy that for 5,000 fat ones. And... Oh, it's green. Weird. Let's go find our girl. It's going to be a whole issue to try and find them. When everyone was just flooding the markets. Oh, someone bought another mayonnaise. So uh, is everyone still up around here? Yeah, hey, here's Olivia. Sal, I never thought I would get married again. I never even thought I'd be with anyone again at all. But spending time with you, it's made me feel things that I thought I had left behind a long time ago. Yes, Sal, I'd love to marry you. And this new chapter we're starting, I hope it's the happiest of all. Poggers! I love you. 
pretty epic if I do that's a that's an epic gamer moment if I've ever seen one all right I'm gonna keep tending to this for the rest of the day because I would like to meet that challenge number yo Gus I got that tomato salt that sharp smell that zesty taste that gritty texture can only be gourmet tomato salt I'll trade you for it we got the Stardew Valley Rose and that will go oh gosh we have to head back to the oasis that's fine I suppose oh, okay hello everyone gosh we're really filing into the saloon tonight aren't we looks like that's it that they're gonna buy there in that case I will take it all back and sell it properly all right how much will this get me ah pittance um can't do that because it's market day man <laughs> well guess we'll complete that quest on another day for now, we'll just head to Joja Mart so that we can slap in the dinosaur mayonnaise. Hello, Joja. I have the second item. You know what? Let's go to the witch's swamp. Head back there and uh, try to fish up some of the void fish, because there's not just the void salmon anymore. There's like five of them, so I do need to get them all to fill out our fishing log. Guess I didn't think about it. Haven't entered this area since year two started. Greetings, Sal. I don't believe I've seen you up here before. Well, I dabble. I visit this graveyard to pay my respects to those who sacrificed their lives to keep the valley safe. Many of these adventurers were my friends. I went on an expedition in the mines with a couple first slash adventurers who were eager to test their metal. Imagine their disappointment when we found that the monsters have been thinned out. The progress you've made single-handedly is impressive. Your assistance in keeping the valley safe is a debt I don't know, I don't think I'll ever be able to repay. To tell you the truth, you remind me of myself when I was your age. Ah, the biggest compliment. Magnus Ros Rasmodius and I privately meet regarding new monster hunters, wizards, witches, and adventurers. I want you to join our meeting, Sal. Your insight would prove most helpful. What do you say? I'd love to. That'll be cool. Like, for war. I'll let you know when you have our next meeting. We usually meet at the guild building or at Magnus' tower. Sometimes we're in a room at the Startup Saloon so we can enjoy good food and drink too. Nice. Yeah, I'm 100% down for that. Must be on my way. See ya. Yeah, I know a lot of what uh, Expanded still has to offer includes, like, Adventurer Guild stuff, so... I am interested to see where that all goes. Also, like, with 1.6 coming out soon, Expanded is supposed to get an update at the same time. And I'm very excited for that. Because uh, that I feel like we'll be getting that update right at the right right time for this playthrough. Like we're starting to get into the more expanded stuff. We're not 100% into it yet, though. So like, there's still kind of new things to be discovered. Gosh, it is foggy up here. Sorry, I just wanted to see if there was anything new to forage. Wait, these are forageables. Ferngill primroses. Well, I do need to ship that. Has a spicy taste. Does it have any? weird uses well it's liked by a lot of oh my gosh that's like almost everyone isn't it that's kind of crazy and i need it to cook the flour cookie Jeez, you need a lot of stuff to cook that flour cookie don't you is that a common mushroom okay we'll take that oh this is pretty in uh spring tell you what pretty epic and you know what? Just a thought I had. I could probably go for the legend, couldn't I? Do I have any fishing buffs anywhere in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, I do have a shrimp cocktail. You know what? We'll pop a shrimp cocktail and see if we can't get the legend real quick. It is raining, so I, you know, I figure why not? All right. Yeah, there really is no guarantee that we'll get fishing days further down in the in the season. So gotta take advantage of this when we can. There it is. Good lord, I was starting to wonder if it was even in the water. Oh, this is a really good start. This is pretty good. 
Wow. That is probably the easiest legend catch I ever had. And dang, I'm sad. If I had gotten a perfect catch, it would have been Iridium. It's getting donated to the Stardew Aquarium. Uh, 12 a.m.? Yeah, we should probably just head on home. Oh yeah, also, I was told those uh, dewdrop berries, or yeah, whatever they are, they spawn here on the 1st and 14th of the month, I believe? Oh, and we got two. Oh, that's super overpowered, being able to pick up two at once. With how good of a buff this is, like, just in general? Good lord. Yeah, definitely going to be using that the next time we go into the Skull Cavern. Which, you know what, should probably be sometime soon. We're not going to have an infinite supply of Iridium forever. And I think I'm just going to make some sashimi to finish us off. See if we can't get another cooking level, perhaps. Boom, boom, boom. Just because it's been a hot second since we've cooked anything. You can't do 25 at a time for that one. Weird. I mean, makes sense, but still. This will also sell for a good amount of money and get us uh, really started. As far as that goes. Cool. I have enough time to put it in, no worries. I still need to get that prismatic slime. This would be the second time that I've failed to complete that if I don't do it. So that'll probably be a little bit of a focus tomorrow. But then again, I don't want to like give away my entire day just trying to find it and then I don't find it. It's always a risk, you know? Oh, yeah, solid 16,000 from all that sashimi. Friday, what are we doing today? Our iridium axe is ready, so we probably want to go out getting some wood, some sap and everything. How do we do here? 10,000 golden sales. Average bonus was 72%. Are you kidding me? Wow. That's kind of crazy. Well, I'll take that, that's for sure. Uh, I will just water this manually at the beginning of each of our days. No problem with that. Oh. Wait. Oh no! It's automatically incubating the egg! Oh! I didn't think that would be connect. Oh. I don't want to slime on the farm up here. Period. Oh, that sucks. Dang, didn't think about that one bit. The fact that that was all connected. Welp, that is completely my fault. And I guess I'll have to reset that up. Anyway, ancient furred seeds. I'm gonna set these up in here. Replant them for the time being because they are worth a lot of money. Get a couple of these. Two gold. All right, we do need five gold eventually, so I will make sure I save those. 102 cups of coffee. We can turn that into a fat stack of espressos. Cook them up. I'll take all of those. That'll be a good gift for Lance as well, so I'll take as many of those as I can get. Speaking of, days reset soon. Where is that man? Today he is at Ginger Island, so let's make sure we get him because he's not going to be here for the rest of the year. Or for the rest of the, of the week, rather. Alright, so I can now make 13 kegs, and that's because we are not full on iron bars. So let's go ahead... First of all, let's start putting all of this down here. I've kind of overlooked it because it's behind this shed now. But uh, we have 102 gold iron bars down here, so... That should probably be enough to sustain a couple of kegs. And now the thing stopping us is once again wood, but we can make 20 kegs and I'm gonna go ahead and set those up in the shed. That's all we have for now. And these are busy making pumpkin juice, so I don't really wanna mess with them for now. But I could make another chest. Well, I can't because I don't have any wood, but we can grab our iridium thing. Anyway, I can put another chest like here or something so that when they all connect they'll go crazy. Gosh, I didn't think about how powerful that'd be. Like, we don't ever have to check this. Ever. We can just let it go forever. It's a little insane. So once again, we have an order of operations to hit up here. I'm gonna get more wood, so let's go grab 
the Iridium Axe. And actually, hold on, before I forget, Robin did finish today, so grab that Meteor Carp. And we're going to slap it into our last fish pond here. Get that going. Oh, oh, it's Friday, man. Man. You hate to see it. Just because I'm curious. This area over here should be... Yeah. It's open to us now. I'm Again, I'm going to be honest. This will just be something I tackle whenever I have excessive free time. Because I don't... I don't expect us to come back here very often. All right, Sandy, I have come to give you this flower. Whenever I miss the valley, I'll smell this rose. Here, take this. It's been on the shelf for 10 years and no one bought it. Advanced TV remote. And you know what? While I'm here, have yourself something for, for fun. Oh, I can't talk to you? Oh, okay. That works. Well, let's go see George. You know... So many people let me down, but George never lets me down. He's always in the same place every day, no problem, easy. Here, have this advanced TV remote. So you push this button first, what's this button do? Huh. Oh, well, how about that? It's a new channel. Here, take this. It's a stone I found when I was a coal miner back in the day. Funny thing, it's glowed blue and stayed cold for over 40 years like magic. You think you'd put that in like your freezer or something, right? Like, I don't know free freezer i suppose uh we're gonna go ahead and take that to our boy the wizard Ooh, you know what we have a ton of money now i would like to buy some more rabbits because i want to try and start getting a horde of rabbit feet uh oh gosh time to look up some phone names all right this rabbit will be called the e71 black it's not gonna fit black steel is what it is <laughs> kind of want to cut cut out the e71 to make room for the steel but i think the e71 is the funniest part of that and we'll get one more just for good measure you know what there's been a type of phone that's been trending lately it's not a good phone by any means but it's called the nothing phone so we'll slap that in too it really warmed my heart when a lot of people were like, oh, finally, the LG chocolate got mentioned. That was my first phone. It's funny. Like, it's just I've never heard of it before at all. So it's funny that, like, it was so important to so many people. Um, Interesting set of items you've got here. I almost want to grab the quality sprinkler just because. I mean, hey, nah, probably fine. No, oh, was it just chilling out here? Question, did I ever get you to 10 hearts? Oh, eight hearts. That's right, he's romanceable. Most powerful substance indeed, and potently infused with the element of ice. I'll take it if you don't mind. Uh, you're still here? Oh, you want something? Take this. Worm! Well, there's only one person that could want that. Hello, Willy. I've brought worm for you. Love me now. That's a perfect bait for a catfish. I've been trying to... Catch. Sorry, my cat just jumped right in front of my face. Here, let me trade you for it. Not sure what it is, but it washed up on the beach not too long ago. Something tells me you could use it, lad. There we go. That's the thing we wanted. Cool. And just because I'm here, sell the clam and this carp. I don't know where I got a carp, carp from, but we're carped up on a Tuesday, I suppose. Well, it's a Friday, so ignore that. All right, now we can head back to Ginger Island. It is raining again, so maybe we'll get the gem bird. There we go. So there's that gem bird for the ruby. Uh, that means we're going to be able to unlock Ginger Island East today. Ooh, that's exciting. All right, final piece of the puzzle. Done. That's five more golden walnuts. And she's <laughs> not out in the rain. Man, we can't catch a break with just things being not where they're supposed to be. Well, gosh, are, are there any other, like... Okay, golden coconut. Sure, I'll take those. Is there anything else I could get here? Here, let's bonk the mussels open just in case they happen to have anything. Someone was saying, I think you can turn mussels into sashimi? If that's true, this is a crazy good source of money because each of these I break open is, what, four mussels? Four or five mussels, I think? Oh, I think it's three or four mussels. So that's, you know, easily 200 per broken rock. So that's not, that's not too bad of a deal, is it? 
What are you doing? Hold on. That's a moonlight jelly. Oh, I'm absolutely going to try and catch you. Oh, well, speak of the devil. I think that might have been the last golden coconut we needed. Or golden walnut we needed from the water. Oh, there's the snake skull. Shay, we take those. There's a little detail that I just noticed that's actually really cool. If you watch the raindrops coming down on the puddles, when they actually hit the puddles, it makes a splash. Like, you can see it kind of happening up there, and that's, uh, that's pretty impressive if you ask me. There we go! Oh, it's a baby! There's babies, too. A luminescent jellyfish. Lunalu. Also known as a moonlight jelly. It's very small and has a lot of growing up to do. Oh my god. Hold on. What do they give in fish ponds? Oh, they're used for... Oh, it's because you can use any fish for these kind of things. That was quick. So there's an adult Lunaloo. A luminescent jellyfish, also known as a moonlight jelly. That is super poisonous. Those green ones are probably super rare, too. Because in lore, they're rare. So we'll see if we can catch one. Ooh, you know what? I just realized I came here so that I could give a gift to our boy, Vincent. So let's see if we... I don't know if he ever leaves the caldera today, so let's see if he's still there. Oh, he's still here! Oh, poggers. Oh, he likes Lunaloos. And I do have a gold one. That would be a good gift. You know what? Here you go, my man. What a remarkable gift. I just really want to get him to two hearts. Because that's his first thing, and I think it's a very important unlock from what I've heard. Okay, yep, they're still out here. I'll, I'll give it a few chances before I pass out tonight. And I don't intend on passing out tonight, because that would be a fat thousand gold that I lose. I guess I'm going to have to come back in another day. I wonder if those are rain only, because I don't recall seeing them before today, so maybe they are. Anyway, uh, let's just head to bed. Not much else we can do. Oh, hey, we did get level six cooking. We got eel sushi, cabbage pot, and onion soup. All right, interesting. Well, here we are. Unfo Jeez, it's going to be raining again tomorrow and on the island. Well, terror roots still have a day. Starfruits still have more than enough time. I need to get a gathering of good fertilizers to put on these crops that are going to go around here. Oh, 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 before we leave, let's uh, give the pirate locket to her. Don't want to forget about that. Yeah, sure enough, there's no Luna loose. Dang, so that's going to be rain only, it would appear. It's kind of rare. Yo, yo. It's his. Yeah, it's his. Yeah, still has a smell after all these years. That familiar putrid funk. Hey, no, I get it. Understandable. You know, it's been a lonely life here, child, but I don't regret it at all. I'm doing right by my old man, and we'll be together again someday soon. an honorable thing to do. It's the way she wants to do it. You have great wisdom, child. You've brought me great peace. This locket will comfort me for the rest of my days. Now, how can I repay you for this? Oh, how about I teach you a special recipe, something I discovered in the many years I've spent here. Oh, that's right, we get fairy dust from that. I always forget about the fairy dust because I'm always more worried about the five golden walnuts. Bless your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mention it. It does remind me, though, I'm going to have to craft some note blocks soon for whenever we want to do the mermaid thing. Although it, it will rain tomorrow, so you know what? If I can gather the resources for it, that wouldn't be a bad thing to do. For now, though, I think we're going to go unlock Ginger Island East. All right, big man. Take my 20 walnuts the last important upgrade and then we can start finally getting stuff like the, the teleport back to the farm there we go i think i'm gonna let people come here freely if you didn't know you can temporarily close it down if you don't want anyone to ruin their schedule but this can be a good opportunity to give a lot of gifts all at once when people gather here so 
I'm not opposed to it. So let's go ahead and grab some of the golden walnuts that we can get here real quick. Oh, we actually have to catch something here. Forgot about that. Come on now. It's just a walnut. There we go. One there. One there. I believe that's all outside for now, unless there's anything new. We'll have to wait until a rainy day to get the other one. But in here, there is a golden walnut that we can dig up uh, right over here. And while we're here, I'm going to try and catch the manta ray, because why not? We could also take a trip to the Stardew Valley Aquarium soon, since we have quite a few fish to donate, I think. Oh, that's right. There's also the Gorman statue. Guess if we get it, we get it. Yo! Hey, another golden walnut. It gives us eight. This is a wiggly boy. There's no way it's not the manta ray. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll take a trip to the Stardew Valley Aquarium. We have a lot. And we'll have to come back here on an odd-numbered night. That isn't raining, unfortunately. Actually, you know what? Maybe it does open when it's raining. I'm not actually 100% sure about that. Uh, we'll, we'll check back tomorrow, just in case. Because I think it could be either or. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to do here? Not really. We should be good to go. All right, so a couple of things I want to do here. I think I need to crack open these golden coconuts because I don't recall. I don't recall if we got the golden walnut from it. Is my inventory full? Nope. Please, God, give me my Iridium Axe. It's been so long. I want it so bad. All right. Uh, I'll pop open the golden coconut. Yeah, sure enough. Golden walnut out of that. Sure, pop open that since we're here. Oh, five copper. Can't shake a stick at that. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go organize my inventory and then we'll take a trip to the aquarium. Oh, we've got mail. Spicy eel from George. Well, hey, at least he sent us a letter. Some hay from Marnie that I don't really need. <laughs> Emily wants an apricot. That's it. Cool. Let's clean her out. Oh, here's a good chance to see if we can actually cook mussels into sashimi, because if so, that's a huge find. We can! Wow, that's actually pretty good. I'm just gonna slap them into here for the time being. So I don't particularly wanna make them right now. Follow you and the legend. And while we are out, I'm actually gonna grab this cork bobber. You know what, hold on, what else do we have in here? Dress spinner, I'm gonna grab the dress spinner. And we're going to catch ourselves some fish in the witch's hut before we go. Cause I mean, no reason not to. All right, horse, gotta leave you here. This will be our second time visiting this area. Yeah, expanded. It's really weird that you stand right there. Let's see, anything you like? Oh, you like crayfish. Uh, I'm not really willing to give you any of that. First things first, do we have any forgeables to pick up here? It is Saturday, so that's, you know, forgeable day. Nothing for now. I really don't know how you get all those uh, crops, but whatever. Let's go fishing for a little bit. Okay, here's one thing. And since we haven't caught anything here before, it's guaranteed to be new. What do we got? That is a void minnow. Wow. Wait. So it has the little anchovy mark there. This is a pretty new mod. I'm wondering if the Stardew Valley Aquarium has already accounted for it? Maybe. Okay, there's the purple algae. Another new one. Contains lots of iodine. There's the void salmon. Silver quality, okay. That's a lot of amethyst. I do want to catch one more, just in case we can get a gold one. And it's funny, since we have this Witch's Swamp mod and there's new fish, it's actually going to be harder to get them. So now I can recognize whenever it's a void salmon, because they're pretty hard to catch. Is there... Is there a new legendary fish in here? I don't know if a, a legendary fish added through mods would do that. Anyway, it's getting kind of late. I can always come back here and get this stuff later. I want to hit up the... Aquarium.
before it's too late. All right, pay the fee. It's been a while since we've been here. I think two episodes at least. I think last time we came here was when we uh, when we got the glacier fish, which yeah, it is now on display. All right, I've got quite a few new ones to donate. Thirteen. That was thirteen new fish. Good lord. So I kind of do want to see the new setups. Now that we have a good amount of fish. Yeah, they're starting to fill out the place. You can see the ones over here in the secret woods, swimming in circles. I find it interesting that they don't just, uh... They don't just use their default swimming animations. They properly have new animations made just for this area. Like, that's, that's a lobster sprite that doesn't show up anywhere else. Let's uh, look around a little more. What's in here? The sewers, I think? Oh no, this is uh, the beach. Oh, Ginger Island ones is right there. River fish in general. Like, it's a, a lot of work went in to make this mod, like, good. So I'm wondering where would the uh, witch's swamp ones be shown? I think this one? Okay, I think they're donatable, but they don't get shown. Simply because it's not... I, I don't think it's supported by the mod yet. So for now, it's just the Void Salmon, which is still really neat. Oh, there's a lot that we've actually already caught that still need to be donated to, huh? Yeah, we'll get around to all of them eventually. Oh, puppy fish. I didn't know about that. But we'll grab that eventually. It's just curious. You got anything crazy? Legendary bait. Very rare fish are attracted to this. What do you mean? I'm so afraid to buy that and then it just being a waste. Like that's such, it's such a, wow. Oh gosh, they have all the really good like fishing items here. Uh, you know what, Dish of the Sea wouldn't hurt when we're trying to catch some hard fish. Well, cool. I'd say that was a very lucrative trip. Although I could buy some ice cream there if I wanted. That's a pretty good loved item or liked item for a lot of people. All right, 6.40 p.m. I've been saying a lot that I really want to... Okay, hold on. What's up with the common mushrooms growing around the place? That's a little weird. I don't know. Maybe that's something that Expanded does, but those are supposed to be fall only. I'm just saying. I want to cut down some trees with my axe, so I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day just doing that. Look at that. Three hits. Oh, this is going to feel so good. Oh, secret note. Uh, that is all of Maru's loved gifts. Good. Cool. Well, we have that filled out now if we ever need to check it. All right. I cut down trees until I pretty much had no energy left. That has gotten us. Uh, 1,205 wood. And yeah, it's a lot, but I have a lot of plans for them. Specifically kegs, I mean gates, fences chests i mean there's there's so many uses we'll have for wood in the coming days so i'm really really making sure we're just going to be covered i'm going to go ahead and put all of that away however we should be able to make a couple of more yeah yeah just 32. don't worry about it we can't set those up today but that is a good start and that left us with 500 wood left so you know eventually we're probably going to have to get even more wood but that's completely fine with me Let's get to bed before we pass out. Hey, tomorrow's our wedding. Just remembered that. That's exciting. Alrighty, starting the day off with this. Oh, I still have my scarf and band on. This is a little Lako Taco. When Sal first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Sal's going to be as much of a part of this town as any of us. Despite the fact that Olivia's, you know, kind of as new as we are. It's my great honor on this day seven of spring to unite Sal and Olivia in the bonds of marriage. Oh boy, I've been waiting for this one. Oh yeah, all the expanded characters are here too. Let's get right to it. Gosh, it feels so huge. There's so many people here now. Sal, Olivia, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Very nice. Very epic. Everyone's excited. 
This is gonna be so different. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be in our house. How's Victor gonna act? Life is gonna be different from now on. But the future looks bright. Gosh, I don't know. Does anyone else feel like before you get married? You know, there's something missing. Also, thanks for the slime, bud. I appreciate it. Oh, no dialogue box today. Do we have anything that you would love? Oh, you know what? Just take a triple shot espresso. They're flowing out of our ears at this point. So we need to get her to, I mean, obviously to full hearts. But also because we need to get the star drop from her. So that's exciting. It's supposed to thunderstorm tomorrow. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. All right, we need to get more rain totems ready so that we can extend that as much as we can to get as many batteries as possible. Hey, we got pineapples. So how many pineapples did we need to expand the butterfish? I think we might have enough. All right, y'all needed just one. Okay, cool. And now the butterfish will expand up to 10. Is that a fish or is that a bone? Six prehistoric tibias? That's crazy. There's another one of these bad boys. I need to put those in to get some, get some darn oil. That's what I need to do. And let's set up all of those kegs. Because, uh, I mean, this is going to be exciting, isn't it? You know, I might want to just connect them for the time being. Since, uh, oh, no, not there. Since they won't really be able to do much unless they're all connected. For automate purposes, that is. So I'll just... Womp. Womp. And you know what? I'm going to clear you out. Because I'm going to put a chest there. Oh, one more, one more out. There we go. Cool. So let's get a chest made. We'll be able to make a lot of coffee, a lot of wine and stuff much quicker. Alrighty, get chested. And for now, I'm just gonna shove all the coffee beans into there. Oh, I did connect it all the way, hold on. Could fix that. There. Yeah, it doesn't even fill up the whole area. In fact, you know what? Let's grab all of the coffee we have here. And moving on up. There we go. Now it's all going. What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Oh, that's Olivia's setup. Oh, yeah, we should probably move these out of the way, huh? Probably would be a good idea. Also, obviously, clearly need to organize this whole area there. Don't worry, we'll get to it. Maybe not today, but we will. Don't you, don't you worry about that. It's lucky day. It's Lewis's birthday. Hold on. I believe we have some hot peppers for that man. I think I feel like we already have them maxed out anyway, but doesn't hurt to check, I suppose. He <laughs> I can check the trash all I want now and no one's going to stop me. Lewis is at the community center. You crazy crazy guy. Well, let's see Martin first since he's here. All righty. My boy. He likes amethyst, coffee, triple shot espresso, and crispy bass. Well, I'm gonna give you amethyst because that's the item I care the least about. Well, actually, you know what? Crazy that we have a use for this crispy bass. So, have a little bit. Treat yourself. A good meal for your, uh, for your book. Got a big test coming up. Need to prepare myself. Your town's library has a bunch of interesting books. Glad to hear it. Lewis looking at the money vault. Of course you are. You know what? I kind of want to see what he says. That was a beautiful ceremony. Oh, okay. Growing flowers on your farm can really enhance the aesthetics. If I were you, I'd just grow them and leave them until the end of the season. Yep, yeah, I mean, that's basically what I'm doing. Have a hot pepper. I think he was already maxed out, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's... Uh, so what's what are we doing for the day? We do still have the prismatic jelly quest. Uh, we have to make sure that we accomplish it before, like probably around 9 p.m. because we do need to get down to the wizard to donate it. So let's spend our day trying to accomplish that. I don't want to miss it a second time. Kind of seems like it's going to happen, but I'm willing to put in some time to try and not <laughs> have that happen. All right. Well, let's do it. 
Oh my gosh, a secret note from Fiber. That's a new one. <gasps> Finally! Oh, we can go get, get the Iridium Snake Milk. All right, well, that will definitely be something to do next episode. I'm, that's good. I'm excited for that. Oh my god, the first clump. Remember when I fixed Lumisteria's clumps and nodes like forever ago? That was our first clump, and it gives rocks too. Okay, neat. That took a while to find. Those are rare, huh? Oh my god, I found it. Oh, I was so worried that I wasn't going to get it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I got two jellies. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, is there anything I could do with the second one? Thank you, Burglar's Ring. Um, well, gosh. Well, first and foremost, let's get out of here and go to the wizard's place immediately. Oh, hey, traveling cart. Oh, battery pack, yoink. <laughs> Absolutely taking that. I don't care about the price. Eh, that's all I care about. Yeah, I should have been grabbing those the whole time, but I kept being like, oh, well, eventually we'll get more. Yeah, not really. Hello, Abigail. I think I have a gift I could give you. You're not maxed out yet. So, my man, the wizard, have your slime. I, ha I sense that you were successful. Now hand over the jelly and be gone. I have important work to do. Yeah, okay, buddy. Gosh, I am pretty sure the jelly gets deleted the moment the quest ends. So we need to immortalize it somehow. Here you go. A spot right next to the grave for the lucky ring. And there it will stay forever. And it's funny, it's actually animated. It's a lot of animation work for an item that, you know, 90% of players will never see and 100% of players won't be able to keep around forever, so. That'll just be a cute thing to be rotating there for the time being. Um, I just realized, I want you to be making jade instead. So I'm gonna grab a jade and pop it in there. Get to work. I think, I mean, it's 10.30 p.m. We still have plenty of time. Oh, absolutely take that 5,000 gold from that. Uh, what do we still need for this? That's right, we needed the battery packs for that. That's what sucks. Okay. Think we're being chilling. Don't think there's anything else to really do for today. So I'm just gonna end it off. It's just like there's these three hours we have left aren't enough. Isn't enough time to like do much of anything. Ooh, let's check out her, uh, room here. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like it. Move this out of the way just a bit. It's a little awkward that it's sitting kind of right in the middle of everything. Womp. Put it in the corner. And before we go to bed, let's get some triple shot espressos going. Cool. Maybe we'll get a level up from that. I don't know. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the start of our second year. I'll see you again soon, and good night. Oh yeah, wow, we uh, oh, it's from all the juice, that's right.